All right, y'all, here's a little homework help on units five, six, and 31. I'm gonna start with 31 since that's the most recent unit. And it's due next Monday. So first question, oh, let's make note of our scale factor real quick. It is calculated as new uh, side length divided by an original side length. This only applies to side measures, not area and not perimeter. Side lengths or dimensions. Also, if you're dealing with a dilated figure, a perimeter will be multiplied by the scale factor and the area of a new shape will be multiplied by the scale factor squared. So make note of that and that. And real quick, the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared and the circumference of a circle is equal to two pi r or pi times diameter. So let's put those of importance over here and over here and here this is important this is important so for the first question on 315 it says use the diagram to answer questions one and two this is my width this is my length if the dimensions of the rectangle are tripled that means my scale factor is three because it's times three which expression can be used to find the perimeter? That means I need to find my perimeter by adding all sides. Keep in mind that I have two nines and I have two fours, and then I need to multiply each one by three. So I need to make sure that I have my two nines and I have my two fours and I multiply it by three. Perimeter can be two times length plus width, and then I'll still need to multiply everything by three. Number two, if the dimensions of the rectangle are dilated by a scale factor of one half, which expression shows a correct method to find the area of a dilated rectangle? So remember, if area, is applied to a dilated shape, the change in area is the scale factor squared. So you need to take the scale factor and square it, multiply it by the area. All these areas are the same, by the way. If you look at number three, the radius of a circle is 18 meters. A second circle has a radius of 12 meters. If the area of the original circle is 324 pi square meters, what is the area of a second circle? So the second circle is not my original because it clearly says the original is that, so this is the new. So let's find the scale factor, which is new over original. And I can only do that with dimensions. So I'll need my new number over my old number, or my original number. So that would be 12 over 18. And then I would get a reduced fraction here. And then I would take my area, which is 324 pi, and I would multiply it by that scale factor squared. So this is my scale factor. This is what's going in this set of parentheses here. Number four, it says Jose or Josie and Jake are discussing options for changing the dimensions of their backyard vegetable garden. Josie wants to increase the dimensions by a factor of 1.5. How many feet of fencing would be needed to surround? That means go all the way around the new vegetable garden. So I need each of these to be manipulated by 
1.5. I could take each one and multiply it by 1.5, then add them all up. Or I can add them all up and then multiply that by 1.5 because my perimeter is just going to be times my scale factor. Now it says Jake wants to change the dimensions by a scale factor of four fifths. Which of the following statements is true? All of these mention the area. So if my scale factor is four fifths, then my scale factor squared has to be four fifths squared. And four fifths squared is four over five times four over five. And it's for the area. So my area gets multiplied by four fifths squared. We need to choose the appropriate one here. Six. The ratio of the areas of two figures is 1 to 25. Which expression can be used to determine the scale factor used to dilate the original figure? So they want me to go back and reverse my square. So if they start with 1 to 2, this is usually new to original. So if I write my scale factor, squared, that would equal 25 to 1. I need to go back and undo my square. Undo the square. And you will get a new fraction down here, or ratio. On 316. Use this picture to answer questions 7 and 8. 60 by 48 is this quilt or blanket. Eliza is making a blanket using the fabric shown in the picture. She cuts the fabric so the dimensions are reduced by a factor of two-thirds. Write an expression that can be used to find the perimeter of the blanket Eliza makes. So perimeter gets multiplied by two-thirds. Here you are finding, it looks like the perimeter. And here is the scale factor. You are literally filling this in. Once you fill it in, you will need to calculate it. There's a fraction and there are two numbers here that you need. Once you calculate it, this is the answer that goes into Skyward. What is the perimeter? you get when you calculate this, okay? Next, it says eight. What's the area? Well, area gets multiplied, whoops, by scale factor squared. What's my scale factor? Two thirds. What's my area? My base times height times two-thirds squared. You need to find that answer. And number nine, it says the ratio of the areas of rectangle WXYZ to rectangle W prime X prime Y prime Z prime is four to 25. W, X, Y, and Z is my original, my OG. W prime, X prime, Y prime, Z prime is my new. That's the ratio that they give me. But I need the scale factor. And how do I find scale factor? The opposite. Is new over original, and it's already been squared 
So I also have to undo the square. If you don't know how to undo a square, then you need to Google how to undo a square in math. You've been taught this already in my class. Number 10, look at the isosceles triangles. Use 10 and 11 for these triangles. If the perimeter of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is 30 meters, that means the perimeter over here is 30, write an expression to determine the perimeter of triangle ABC. So that means I need to find my scale factor and then figure out its inverse, that means flip it, because I've gotta go backwards from my scale factor to get this perimeter. So that means I need to take my scale factor, which is new to original, and that's five to three, and then I need to flip it and then multiply by this perimeter. So perimeter equals, I'm sorry, perimeter times three fifths gives me 30. So if I'm going backwards, what did I multiply by three fifths to get 30? Eleven. The area of the triangle ABC is 12 square meters. Which expression can be used to determine the area of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime? So I'm going using my scale factor and I'm going to square it now. Scale factor squared equals three fifths squared. B, did you fix this one right here? Number of 11. My scale factor is 3 fifths, but my inverse scale factor is going to be the flipped version of that. And I'm going to put this answer right here. And number 12 says, if the dimensions are dilated by a scale factor of 9 fourths, oh, right here, we're going to make this multiple choice. We'll call it A, B, C, D. The dimensions are dilated by a scale factor of 9 fourths. What is the circumference, that's perimeter, times 9 fourths in terms of pi of the dilated circle? Write your answer in the space provided. So C equals 2 pi r, which equals 2 times pi times 8, which equals 16 pi. And then the area is pi r squared, which equals pi times 8 squared, which is 64 pi. So this will be getting multiplied by 9 fourths squared, and this will be multiplied by 9 fourths. I'm going to put the pi here and the pi here, and you're just going to have to put the numerical part here. So this will be 16 times pi times 9 fourths. Don't calculate pi. And then here you're going to do 64 times pi times 9 fourths squared. Multiply, 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 multiply. 64 times 9 fourths squared. 16 times 9 fourths, and then you'll be done. I'll throw the pie in skyward. Good luck.